Kano Fred Mwesje is a livestock farmer in Sembabre district. Mwesje tells NTV that he has been losing about 10 cows each year to tick bone diseases for the last eight years. I've been losing animals. 10, 5, 6. Even when Mwesje used a carcide to spray his cattle every week, the ticks continue to ravage his cows. I have met a lot of challenges with ticks. We use this acaricide, it fails to work. I use this one, it fails to work. You, you, you try all types of acaricides and they fail to work. And use animals. Most of the Frisian cows he lost cost about 3 million shillings each. He says the loss forced him to revert back to indigenous Ankore cow, which cannot produce enough milk. I, I even have a spray race, but still ticks resist and they continue killing animals. One animal is about three million. Now, his long-awaited prayer to find a solution to this problem has been answered. The agricultural scientists in Uganda have unveiled the first ever antique vaccine developed from local ticks. You know this has been a challenge year in, year out. We have been losing our animals, but from today onwards, uh, I think it's going to be a good development, no more dying of animals and even the government is going to benefit. The Agriculture Minister Frank Tumwebaze unveiled an antique vaccine to the farmers yesterday at Mbarara Zono Agricultural Research and Development Institute. In these initiatives, organizations are boosted with the budget support, working together with the Ministry of Trade and other, and commercialize them and lead them to extension. Surely, research and farm and farmer will now be needed. Government will give you enough money to produce all that you need. The antique vaccine field trials will be examined on over 400,000 animals in Imbarara and Kiruhura and other parts of the country. According to Dr. Andrew Akashaba, the area district veterinary officer, farmers in the area lose about 2,000 cattle annually, which translates into a loss of about 4 billion shillings. This loss is so huge and it affects the farmers in their farming business. They make losses every year. They lose a lot of milk, they lose a lot of revenue, they lose jobs. Some farmers have chosen to go and uh, uh, lose, uh, have chosen to go and do other things after losing interest in farming. This vaccine is endorsed and qualified by NDA. Automatically, the vaccine is not going to work within Uganda only. We are marketing the vaccine within the region. We want to see the affordability. The affordability nature of the of the vaccine, the accessibility, because that is a very important factor vis-a-vis -vis the, 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 the proceeds from the animals themselves. Research conducted by NARO scientists indicate that Uganda loses about 3.8 trillion Uganda shillings annually due to tick-borne diseases. Upon conclusion of this trial, the results will be assessed for quality standardization, making the vaccine safe for public use. This is expected to provide a lasting solution to tick problems in Uganda and the region.